Hi, my name is Mr. Hudzinski and I teach investigative science. So far this quarter, we have gone over the physics part of investigative science. So we've talked about the electromagnetic spectrum. We talked about Newton's laws. We built balloon carts to experience Newton's laws um, and to work on engineering skills. Uh, we talked about light, waves, magnetism, electricity, and now we're done with physics. Now we're moving on to the earth science part of this class. So we're going to be talking first um, locally with the earth, with its processes, its structure, and then we're going to talk about uh, human interactions with the earth, uh, pollution, climate change, things that humans are doing that are affecting uh, the world that we live in. And then we're going to take it out from there and we're going to uh, work with our solar system, talking about the physics behind how it was created and how it works, how orbits work. Um, and then lastly, we're going to talk about the universe in general, talking about universal time and scale, and we'll finish out there. Um, to be successful in investigative science, the key is to just turn in all of the work on time. Um, that's the easiest way to make sure that you do well in this class. Now, if you have questions in person or online, asking me either in class or at student support um, or even through email are great ways to get into contact with me. So the key to success, and you're probably going to hear this from a lot of classes, is just submitting those assignments. For those online students, that's even more so. So the, it's harder to gauge whether you're understanding uh, the material or not, and you can't, it, it's harder for you to get into contact with me sometimes, and I understand that. So checking in on student support through those Google Meets and also emailing me when you have questions, when, um, when issues may arise, that way we can work together to make sure that you experience success in this class. All right, thank you.